What are we doing pirate porn hey. for? <laughs> oh dear. Bartians. <laughs> Welcome to another Bars vs Hens, the second uh, Bars vs Hens, right? Oh! For God's sake, this is off. <laughs> We played Scribble Scramble. I won. It was the greatest day of my life. <laughs> it still haunts me. The Big Mac smoothie was not oh. a tasty thing. Next up is Pop Up Pirate. So we had a game of skill now, a game of complete random chance. Yes. Which gives me a good chance, at least a 50 50 chance. This is some sort of a European Pop Up Pirate. It's apparently called Pick Pirate ah. or Pop Up Pirate. 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 That's pirate. Oh, two A's, is Yeah. And no E. Arr. Language. So, the point of the game is this weird pirate guy. Yeah. And, uh, what's he doing with his hands there? That's a bit of a worry. Mm. Um, who, what? And what's that around his mouth? It's part it's of his beard, eye patch. It's a beard patch. Have you not got one of those? <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's oh, a for a <laughs> you put it on and it suddenly <laughs> danks a beard down as well. I've never really played Pop-Up Pirate myself, but it is a very simple game. You just shove swords into the barrel. You do indeed. You try and not to pierce the pirate with your stubby daggers. Ah. <laughs> Did you go on that stag do as well? <laughs> stubby like daggers, incidentally, his new blues album is out next Thursday. Um, oh, I've seen him live as yeah. well. Fantastic. Yeah, stuggy daggers! <laughs> stuggy daggers! <laughs> like in the air. <laughs> Get your daggers in the air. <laughs> Whoa, stubby! <laughs> It should have been called Pop-Up Toaster, I was thinking this before. Oh, that's it would have been quite a cool game. This could be a toaster and you would stick forks in rather than swords and every single one, because obviously forks on real toasters, you get electric shock. So you would, so it would be an educational tool to teach children to not stick forks in. So you get the final one, your toast pops up and then you eat it. I didn't really think of it being edible toast, but that's... Any electrocution involved at all? Just use a real toaster at home. Let us know down below. Ah. <laughs> Oh God, Barry's got Tupperware or something. What's... <laughs> Barry's got Tupperware. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got Tupperware? I think it's Barry oh, here. Oh yeah, Tupperware time. Uh, today's forfeit, so last time was the Big Mac's movie. Yeah. Um, I found a link online. It was like, um, you know how we've done videos in the past of like unusual combinations that actually taste quite nice? I do. This is an Oreo and ham sandwich. What, like a chocolatey biscuit? Yeah. And ham? Yeah, and no. it's actually a warm Oreo and ham sandwich. So you've got buttered white bread, we have a smoked, it's a really good quality ham in there actually, smoked ham and Oreos. And apparently this, a lot of people like this. I see. And I saw it, oh, then again, quite good. A lot of people like Batman vs Superman, but that doesn't make him right. <laughs> you don't have to eat it though, do you? I didn't like the taste of that movie. Oh, I've got a bit of Aquaman, so <laughs> teeth. <laughs> a bit of cake oh. in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Right, let's play this bloody game then, Barry. <laughs> okay, so has he got a name? <clears throat> Pirate. pirate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> generic name. I shall call thee pirate. pirate. For that is what ye be. Yeah, R K. Right. So you gonna go first with your sword there, Stu? Yeah, I be going first with my yellow stubby dagger. Uh, put your stubby dagger into me right. barrel then. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing pirate porn hey. for? Urgh. Oh dear. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah we'll push it right in. in. All the way in? Oh, oh yeah. All the way uh, in. Ooh! Arr. I'm not really picking which ones I'm going in because it's entirely random. Is it? I'm, I'm not asking... playing a deal or no deal where they pretend they've got magic powers for guessing yeah. which box. Just ring the banker. Yeah, go for the bottom left. <laughs> um, okay. Insert my dagger. It's like you to get a black eye off pop out pirates. How that far would be... does he um, ejaculate? Does he go quite high or? <laughs> what, what, what Sorry, pop the... up is more of the general term. But... I, I think you're looking for the word eject. Eject. <laughs> yeah. um, How far does he ejaculate? It's quite a violent reaction, though. <clears throat> oh! Oh! So the sandwich is edging closer to Stuart's side. It's best of three. And I've nicked the first one. Choose the blue sword first of all. Oh! Ooh. Oh dear. 
I'm going straight in next to this other one. Oh, oh it's all over! It's all over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch is served. Oh, great. Mm. It smells great. How does it taste? A lot of people said that it was amazing. A lot of people said it tasted like hell. You know the people who said it was amazing? Mm. They're imbeciles. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Barshans, Eli talks about noodles. Hello. Uh, I've been waiting for this opportunity for a very long time. I love noodles, uh, instant ones in particular. They're, uh, they're known as ramen noodles in the States, uh, where they're associated with university dormitories and the temporary uh, poorness that students go through during that time. You know, they're associated with poverty, and I think that we need to change this. Here, this country, they're known as instant noodles. It's a much more descriptive term, and I think one that needs to be applied, because there are all sorts of different types and styles of instant noodles, not just ramen. Ramen is one noodle style out of many, many. But, just to get the ball rolling on this, I'd like to talk about a recent discovery. Nissan, which is the original cup noodle company, the first manufacturers of instant noodles in the West, at least, have a great range, and the... Tonkotsu ramen with a little sachet of black garlic oil is topping my list of top noodles for this week. Well, for, for every week this year. Wow, that's delicious. Boil an egg in it. Pimp that noodle. That's what I'm saying. You know, people go, oh, it's boring. It's poor people's food. You've got no imagination. Yeah, just get your, get your scallions, your spring onions in there. Tinned sweet corn, some kind of tinned fish. I don't know. It's up to you. Maybe you don't like fish. Anyhow, one to go for is the, uh, the tonkotsu from Nissan with the black garlic um, oil in the sachet. Another one I really like is the Nissan Seafood Party. It is like a party based on seafood in your mouth. The first noodle for me, just to give you a little personal anecdote here, was the Dole noodles. Dole brand noodles. Um, someone once told me that they tasted good with chocolate, with like Nutella in them. That woman was lying to me. They do not. But I ate it nonetheless. It was quite good, quite a good combination. Now, as noodles have progressed through the years, you get layers and layers of complexity and more and more advanced models. The stuff that's coming out of Japan at the moment is awe-inspiring, Obviously, honestly. You've got drainage uh, panels built into the top. So you can put the water on, pour out the excess water once your noodle is cooked, and then it's a stir-fried style noodle. You know, for years, we've had to just put up with there only being one style of noodle, the, the, the soup noodle, which can be quite bloating, especially if you're going for a walk or something. Now, you have stir-fried style with little bits of dehydrated squid in it.